Hi, beautifuls, handsomes, and welcome back to Libra Light. I needed a couple hours because the Aquarius full moon energy is kicking your reader's ass. It's just been like really emotional these last few hours. We're going to get started with Alice in Wonderland. This is an extended of no communication. It was tough on your reader because that last one captured a lot of my personal story and how I even found tarot. So I needed a few hours to just squeeze myself and <laughs> excuse myself from the crying that was about to happen. Welcome back to the channel. It is under the guise of the Aquarius full moon, which begins tonight. So wherever you are in the world, you're probably already feeling the energy. Um, be compliant with yourself and please have sympathy because it is a rough moon. Welcome to your extended. This is the first no communication. Oh, I'm sorry. The first one was already offered. This is just the extended. And the next one will be a you versus them. You get to pick one pile of which you resonate with more. And if you guys see in the screen grab, which you will get in the next video, there's an extra pile too. So it'll look like three piles, but it's just extra information will be the third pile. Welcome back 107 on the time. So can I see what they're currently feeling? Thank you. I got a couple. Oh, do you see that one? We have, they're currently feeling strength. There could be a Leo energy or you are involved with, you know, Leo tidings, I would call it. Or you have a Leo sign actually, which connects you and no communication. Maybe Libra, you're the one with Leo or fire. Um, requiring a lot of strength in this moment. We are going to see if there's actual possible communication from no com. And we do have judgment, Scorpio. One of you two in this story knows that something is about to come to a crashing and final end, okay? Um, judgment seems kind of dramatic, like so far as I pull. What else do we need to know? I can feel this one on the side. I also feel the top. We have uh, Ace of Hedgehogs, Ace of Pentacles, a blessing comes in this week. Now, this is not your typical Ace of Pentacles. You guys know it's a huge, gigantum gold coin. There's like um, a blessing after this judgment call is over. Like you really got to call this in during this Aquarius full moon and say, this is over. I'm not toying with this idea anymore. I know how this person behaves. I've seen enough. And this Ace of Pentacles will come there and after. Also, it's a slow card, but... Its main definition is a blessing. We will clarify too because we have an alternate deck here. Their feelings is the chariot. They could have been water or cancer is what Alice is showing up here. This doesn't have to be love. Like whoever is connecting to you under this energy Libras in the extended wants to travel their ass toward you. They do. It's, it's not even in denial. It's just a question of when. Can I see a couple more things here, please? Are there two? Yep, we have the devil card. You guys could be seeing this a lot in readings going around YouTube, even at this hour. It's Capricorn. There could be a Capricorn very attracted to you. It's more of this like continual obsession. It's an obsession to check on you. I feel like it actually comes off very simple. I think this person just wants to communicate to you. You could be hearing songs too because those notes that he's blowing out of the flute are catching my attention as a reader. We'll clarify what this is about. I feel like that should have a couple cards too. Um, maybe you know a little bit of it as well. Mystery card is the high priestess with the kitty cat. I see here there's a lot of influencing energies wanting to come toward you, but then there's also like they're very aware of this thing about doing an internal check-in on you. I do think that this is coming in as looking at your profile or finding out what you're, you've recently been up to, okay? There's a curiosity, but remember, this is all, the devil's an addiction card. It's about an addiction towards something or this was a karmic cycle and you keep getting brought back together. They want to break through and communicate to you, but so far I'm getting like telepathic nudges with the high priestess to the... Five, six, seven, seven of teacups, that's the seven of cups, and the two of pentacles. A lot of mixed emotions in the recent past. If you see them, you're not even going to know how to react. A lot of you in no communication, this has been long, so you don't even know how you're going to react to them if you see them in person. I think there's a bit of manifesting in the extended where you would like to see this person again. But it's just the mood has changed. There's been so many differences in both of your personalities. One of you looks like you're going off to contain momentum. And we also have the Queen of Wands with the Rose. 
Oh my goodness, Hierophant too. Could be Taurus influence or Leo here, okay? Um, Aries can also be the Queen of Wands. Let's keep you in the reading. You factor into this um, obsession in a way. Devil card's interesting because I don't feel it in its traditional sense today in the in the bonus here. I feel like this is more so checking up on you, but it's not good for them. And maybe some of you Libras are also checking up on their energy, so it's it's not good for either one of you. I think it's like kind of truce energy coming in Knight of Cups, uh, Six of Teacups also with nostalgia. Okay, but just remember we last left off here. I think there's a story that has to pan out for your higher learning. And I do think that there's going to be a shift this week with higher vibrations. You will be sent signs and you will be sent an action to do if uh, no communication has stretched out for the two of you. Let's get more of the story out. No communication extending from the last one. We had an empress rebirthing herself this week. Queen of what, what the heck? Six of Pentacles. It's the, okay, this is what I call repeating energy, even if it doesn't mean to. You just get the same cards, but you're in, to interpret it in the hour. So we have Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands. A lot of you are coming to your own suppositions right now as you watch this. This is a lot of fire energy. It's a lot of attraction. It's beautiful desire. This person is personally appealing, and it could be you too, Libras. You give off an air of unbothered. You give off an air of resourcefulness, but you don't need anybody. They're mixed up of how they feel about you, but one thing that's a constant is that they try to connect with an inner high priestess. Someone thinks that they know what you're going through, but actually in reality, they're really not sure. This past week revealed a lot of Page of Swords to us. Uh, many times this week, you were the Queen of Wands, and I would say the highest card, even in our weekly, was the Queen of Swords, which is definitely your energy. Seven of Cups, what are they fantasizing about? What's this Seven of Cups? What are they fantasizing about? Seven of Cups from Alice in Wonderland. Nine of Swords in the current hour and the Empress, okay? Now, I just watched, <laughs> I rarely do this, I watched Wendy's tarot. She pulled same energy. Usually when it's a difficult time like this during the Aquarius full moon where everybody who's ascending or has been uh, attached to the spiritual path, it's difficult because you have to interpret the best way that you can, especially with the energy you're feeling as a human as opposed to your collective. So we have you and your major arcana. You keep coming out. Okay, even from the bag I was carrying to my family events, she fell out of the bag. They see you as Empress Energy. I think someone is really sad, not only how they treated you, but it could have been done a better way. And they kick themselves in the ass because it could have been better. It could have been better. Queen of Wands, Empress, you cannot get better than that vibrationally. One of the highest vibrations in the entire tarot. So if you're a Divine Feminine, this is how you're coming off. Even if you're displaying this unbothered thing, okay? Nine of Swords, you could have been dealing with a Gemini. There's some sleepless nights here. Perhaps tel uh, telepathically communicating to each other through music. There could even be movies between y'all that you watched and you're now getting those resonances in a certain way. I'll give you an example. Uh, one of the movies before uh, between me and my TF was the movie Just Friends with Ryan Reynolds. And um, anytime I would hear the forgiveness song or just something particular like that, where it's attached to a movie, attached to you and a person, I'm getting that. It's like telepathic responses. It's back and forth. This person is wondering if you can feel them too. They're a little spiritual. They don't have to be highly religious, but they're wondering if this is taking effect on an empress. That's really deep because if some of you th are thinking this, uh, it's prevalent right now in this person. High Priestess, Pisces energy is interplaying with Virgo right now, as you know. Um, it will change from Aries and Libra to Pisces and Virgo with the North Node and South Node sometime next year, I believe. So we have the High Priestess here. There could be something about white. Um, also like loving sunsets right now, Libra. I just need to say that because there could be something that you're personally taking a picture of or you're resonant with beautiful sunsets at this time. Or maybe you've even seen one recently. 
I just have to say that so that it is connecting on a personal level for some of you. Um, Nine of Swords. Clarify the Nine of Swords. Lovers. The Gemini card of the lovers. Uh, divine soul union. Maybe in the past it was. Six of Pentacles with heavy Taurus energy. The pizza. Ace of Wands. The Four of Swords. The Fool. This week, a big exchange happens within your heart space, Libras, or maybe even your crown chakra about you going forward on a new beginning, and it will feel good, okay? I know a lot of you were, as a collective, it's tough. It's a tough period because Aquarius is very air, but it's also very deep and introspective. So this is going on in your pleasure house. The reason why you're showing up so high in the reading, Queen of Wands, Empress, is because your pleasures... Um, your laughter, maybe even hear your fun or your recent family reunions, maybe even you spending time with yourself has been good vibrationally. But right now, there's something that's trying to connect you with something higher. It might be your spiritual gifts only. It might be a new soulmate, but it's trying to connect you. And I, I see the difficulty of it trying to mend together. Okay, for some of you, some of you already got there. Congratulations. <laughs> Page of Wands too. Keep seeing that too, like a younger influence in the readings. They might have something to tell you because Page of Wands is a messenger overall. It's somebody who wants to bring news. It could be about like a spark too within them. Or I said in the last reading that they had an awakening. It could be about an empress. The results of that, let's see. What's the result of this very youthful spiritual awakening that this person has had? Knight of Cups, realizing their love for you. Okay, so I have to state this in a general way. If some of you feel like there's still a soul tie here, okay, or you want reconciliation, this is one of the cards for wanting reconciliation, um, or you're curious about this Gemini, or you're curious about this fire sign, is that they hold a candle to you in the Knight of Cups. You can clarify it to death. But the Knight of Cups is pretty rare in a reading. He only comes out like six times a year. <laughs> so Knight of Cups, rarely as a clarifier for me as a reader. He comes out during like um, Valentine's Day, like those seasons, right? Um, but let's check on this because this is what the Nine of Swords is basically about. We had an anxiety card for the last few days and it doesn't even have to be you. This person's realizing their huge leap of love for you. I don't know if there's telepathic signs going on. I feel it as a person, but I'm just not sure if it's showing up in the reading. Let us see that. Knight of Cups, anything to leave us with for the day. Rebirth, Wheel of Fortune, bottom of the deck is the Four of Cups. That's what I have so far. I did see the nine on the split. Nine of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Hierophant, the Sun, and Judgment. Five of Cups. I don't know if you guys can see it. Five of Cups is remorse. Great remorse. Next to the Queen of Cups, they definitely could be water. They don't have to be, but I also have Taurus, Scorpio, and Aries, the Emperor, just to show you. Someone could be wanting to reestablish control with that Emperor card. He flashed to me for a reason, but something is changing this week for a particular one of you. I feel it really heavy, especially when you've been reading a long time. You know what cards are sending you beacons of messages. You you just can feel it. What is the Wheel of Fortune? Is it this rebirth coming in? Oh, yes, it is. Scorpio, the Fool card. Let's check on these two, please. Um, this is a beginning. I know it's funny. Is the beginning was shown first and the ending was shown second. So let's check that. The Fool and the Death card. A whole leap into a book closing. Seven of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. There's a new person coming in. And I, I have to say it like that. Because I don't sense any old energy. Nine of Pentacles. That's you. Okay. However this Virgo energy is. You can be a Libra and still have Virgo components. Even if it's not in your chart heavy. I have Virgo five times in my chart. So this has to ring true, obviously, evidently in my story somewhere. But the Seven of Pentacles is a new investment. And if you look, it's a happy guy awaiting a new investment. There could be a DM in this story that's trying to connect with you from your old story. If not, that's you trying to connect with a new Seven of Pentacles. 
in this extended. And this can be massive for you. This could be moving um, a new investment in financing. This can be something, Libras, that you do with a friend. It doesn't necessarily have to be love. It's just something that replaces that feeling that you lost. Okay, and it's not a true loss. It's showing up here as a very, very swift change, but it has to end finitely for you to get it. There's something about that is closing it so you can have the wheel, and it is called the Wheel of Fortune for a particular reason. I got that for you here in the afternoon. I am going to do a pick a pile today, so I hope you're ready for it. It is a, um, you're either pile one as a person or you're pile two, and I'll see you guys momentarily I have to set up for it but I love seeing you and I hopefully I hopefully help some of you through this Aquarius full moon I really do intend on helping the individual on this channel and I just hope that it served you well if it resonated please let me know 